Before we begin, I'd like you to note that all of my clicks can be viewed at the bottom left corner. With that said, let's double tap A to select all of our objects and X to delete them. Then hit Shift A to add our plain mesh. We're going to hit S to scale and 8 to size. Then Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate, X on the X axis, and then 90. So again, we just hit Shift D. R, X, 9, 0. And again, we're going to duplicate it again by hitting Shift D, R, Z for the Z axis, 90. And again, we're just going to pull that in place. It's okay if it's shabby, it's just a base. Now, once you've got it to where you'd like it, hit Shift A to add a cube, pull it up to the desired slot. This will be our oven. Select it and tab to go into edit mode. Once I'm there, I'm going to hit the forward slash to isolate that and tab into edit mode. You can see at the bottom that there are different ways to face select, vertices, lines, and edges, or excuse me, faces, edges, and vertices. You can see that I'm using the face select tool right now to pull out the oven to size. I've pulled it up and out a little bit. Now with the edge selection tool, I'm going to hit E to extrude after selecting the back edge, then hitting Z to make sure it goes upward and then just extruding it up. Now I'm going to be subdividing this with the loop cut tool. I hit Control R to activate the tool. Putting my mouse at the top or bottom will create a pink line. Vertically, putting it at the side, left or right, will create one horizontally. Once it's pink, you then click, it'll show up, and you drag it to the place you would like to make a vertice or an edge. Now, we could color everything at the very end, but we're going to just do it right away. Just get ahead of the game. Make sure you are in Cycles Render, or else this won't work. I'm going to be using a teal, kind of a burnt teal actually, for this. I want to create a, a late early's, if that made sense, a late early uh, kitchen throughout these tutorials. This is the first of a few, the stove. Now with that said, I've used the face select tool to select that face, E to extrude it, and then I've pulled it back a bit. I'm adding a new material for the door it's going to be black and as you can see I'm having trouble naming the oven I do like naming things even though it takes a little bit more time it helps me keep organized especially when you are importing multiple objects into a new project which we will be doing later on in the later video that being said I've turned it black and I'm changing the surface to glossy this just affects the way that the object will catch light now I'm adding another material for the back panel where the knobs would go. Now this is also going to be a black, but I'm using a different uh, texture for it that diffuse, which keeps it a matte. So I will not be using the same texture as the door simply because of the way I want it to catch the light. The top of the oven, of course, will be white. You can also use it as a tan yellow with its particular color combination. Make sure that you assign your colors regardless of what you've done to adjust them. Now I've tabbed back into object mo mode, hit shift A to add another cube. Then I've tabbed back into edit mode to edit it. This will be our handle. You can see I'm just pulling that out and I'm flattening it, pulling it back. There's nothing fancy to it, it's just going to be a long bar. I don't need this side tool, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm hitting A to select everything, and then I'm dragging it up using the arrows for the Z axis and then the X axis. The green arrow, the Y axis, will be used in just a moment to insert it in just so it pokes out just a little bit, just enough for a handle. I probably could have poked it out a little more, but I really didn't feel like taking the time. Now that I've adjusted it to what I want, I'm going to uh, add a new gray texture of course because it's metal i'm also going to go from the diffuse surface to the glossy surface which works really well for modeling metals you can also use this to model a mirror if you had the color be a full white as well as a glossy 
texture surface. Now I've tapped back to object mode and hit shift A to add a circle. I'm also creating a color for it right away, black, because this will be the burner. I have to tap into edit mode and then I hit F to fill in the circle. Once that's there, I'm going to lower it on to the oven and then S to scale it down. Once it's scaled, I'm just going to drag it into place and then hit Shift D to duplicate in just a moment. Okay, Shift D to duplicate and then X to drag it along the X axis and then I'm just going to pull it up along the Y axis with the green arrow. Again, I'm going to Shift Duplicate, again Shift D. Pull it across the X axis by hitting X and then scale it down with S. I'm going to touch it up just a little bit. Shift D, X, and then pull it in place and then drag it along the Y axis. And there we have it. Let's just make sure that's positioned perfectly. Everything looks good. Now we just need to add a lamp and a camera. Again, the paneling is pretty shoddy on the sides. I just wanted something to catch the light. You can use whatever light source you want. I'm just doing this quickly. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. You, there are other videos you can watch to get a lighting tutorial. I'm hitting R to rotate it. And that was along the x-axis. This is now by the z-axis. I'm just going to put it over there. I'm not quite sure what it'll look like, but let's just drag that up. You can see where the light would go by the dashes. We're going to add a camera, and I could position this uh, meticulously, but instead I'm just going to the sidebar under view and selecting the lock camera to view and hitting control option zero or control alt zero on the numpad not the keyboard, zero on the numpad, to get into camera view. I've also gone and changed myself from object view to rendering view uh, down at the toolbar below. If you look right next to object mode, it's that circle right next to it. Now I've gone and I hit the camera and I went into sampling and I changed the samples to 1000 samples and you can see that I've gone ahead to render. This is the finished result. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe with any questions or to see more content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.